When I played myself, if I was playing a very aggressive player, um, first of all I would try and Very often when I do my commentating, when I see matches uh, around the world, we very often, um, when we commentate, uh, are talking about how to sort of break the rhythm of a certain player. Um, there are of course many ways of doing it. Uh, when I played myself, if I was playing a very aggressive player, um, first of all I would try not to change the shuttle too many times because we all know that an older shuttle is a slower shuttle so of course I was trying not to change it too much if at all possible. Secondly of course playing a very aggressive player you can't give a, too much initiative away so perhaps you have to start attacking before he's actually attacking you in order to offset that sort of rhythm as well. If you still want to play defensive uh, and you're playing an up against a very strong attacking player, you have to ensure that you play with good proper length and perhaps uh, play with what we call more defensive clears to make sure that your opponent is standing right on the back line as and when he's attacking you and can't feed off the pace of your shots, which I think can also be quite important. Today we see, of course, a lot of uh, players, they're throwing themselves around on the court and the court have to be mopped constantly. That is, of course, also taking a lot of uh, pace out of the game and can break rhythms of uh, certain players and so on. But I think a lot of players today are quite used to it, so I don't think it's upsetting them too much. So uh, I, I think the way you have to do it is actually through your, your playing style, the choices that you're making, I think that's, that's very important. Hi, my name is Morten Frost and if you like what you see, if you like the videos, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel.